Once upon a time, in a small village nestled deep in the mountains, there lived a wise and revered Zen master named Master Li. People from far and wide sought his guidance and wisdom, for he possessed the ability to impart profound teachings in the simplest of ways. One day, a young man named Wei approached Master Li with a troubled heart. Wei had always been plagued by procrastination, constantly putting off important tasks until the last minute. He felt trapped by this habit and sought a way to break free from its clutches. Master Li listened intently to Wei's concerns and smiled gently. He understood the young man's struggle all too well, for even the most disciplined minds could fall victim to the allure of procrastination. Master Li decided to share a secret technique that had helped him overcome this very challenge. Wei, Master Li began, I will teach you a practice that requires only five minutes of your day. If you commit to it wholeheartedly, you will never procrastinate again. Intrigued, Wei eagerly agreed to learn this transformative practice. Master Li instructed him to find a quiet space each day, preferably in nature, where he could sit undisturbed for five minutes. Wei was to close his eyes, take deep breaths, and focus his attention on the sensation of his breath entering and leaving his body. At first, Master Li explained, your mind will wander, pulled in different directions by thoughts and distractions. It is natural, but do not be discouraged. Each time you notice your mind has wandered, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Wei nodded, understanding the simplicity of the task at hand. He thanked Master Li and left with a renewed sense of hope. Days turned into weeks, and Wei faithfully practiced his five-minute meditation every day as instructed. At first, his mind wandered incessantly, jumping from one thought to another like a restless monkey, but Wei persisted, patiently bringing his attention back to his breath each time. Gradually, as the days passed, Wei began to notice a subtle shift within himself. He found that the more he practiced focusing his mind for those five minutes, the easier it became to concentrate on other tasks throughout the day. He felt a newfound clarity and purpose in his actions, free from the chains of procrastination. One sunny morning, Wei returned to Master Li, his face beaming with joy. Master, he exclaimed, your teachings have transformed my life. I no longer procrastinate. I am able to complete tasks with focus and efficiency. Master Li smiled warmly and patted Wei on the back. You have discovered the power of presence, my dear Wei. By training your mind to be fully present for those five minutes each day, you have cultivated a habit of mindfulness that spills over into every aspect of your life. Wei bowed deeply in gratitude, forever indebted to Master Li for this life-altering practice. From that day forward, Wei shared the secret technique with anyone who struggled with procrastination, spreading the wisdom of mindfulness far and wide. And so, the village flourished with individuals who embraced the power of presence, forever liberated from the grip of procrastination. Master Li's teachings echoed through the mountains, reminding all who heard them that by dedicating just five minutes a day to mindful practice, one could transform their lives in unimaginable ways. As word spread about Wei's transformation and the power of the five-minute practice, people from all walks of life flocked to the village seeking guidance from Master Li. The village became a sanctuary for those burdened by procrastination, a place where they could learn the art of mindfulness and reclaim control over their lives. Master Li welcomed each new visitor with open arms and patiently taught them the practice that had changed Wei's life. He emphasized the importance of consistency and commitment, reminding them that true transformation required daily dedication to the five-minute meditation. One by one, the villagers embraced this practice, committing themselves to five minutes of focused mindfulness each day. They discovered that the more they practiced, the more they were able to let go of their procrastination tendencies. Their minds became clearer, their actions more purposeful, and their lives more fulfilling. 
as the villagey thrived news of its success reached the ears of neighboring communities. People began to travel from far and wide to learn the transformative practice from Master Lee. The village became a hub of wisdom and enlightenment, attracting seekers from all corners of the world. Master Lee, with his boundless compassion, welcomed each new visitor with open arms. He shared his teachings not only with those who struggled with procrastination, but also with anyone seeking inner peace and clarity. The power of the five-minute practice spread like wildfire, touching the lives of countless individuals and communities. In time, Master Lee's teachings reached the ears of a renowned scholar named Professor Chen. Professor Chen had dedicated his life to studying the human mind and behavior, and he was intrigued by the claims surrounding the five-minute practice. Determined to investigate a further, he set out on a journey to the village in search of Master Li. When Professor Chen arrived in the village, he was greeted by a sense of serenity and contentment that seemed to permeate the air. He sought an audience with Master Li, eager to learn more about the transformative power of this simple practice. Master Li welcomed Professor Chen into his humble abode and listened attentively as the scholar expressed his curiosity. Professor Chen explained that he had spent years studying procrastination and its impact on productivity and well-being. He was fascinated by the idea that just five minutes a day could free individuals from its clutches. Master Li smiled knowingly and began to share his wisdom with Professor Chen. He explained that procrastination was not a mere lack of willpower or laziness, but rather a symptom of a scattered and untrained mind. The five-minute practice, he said, was a way to train the mind to be present and focused, allowing individuals to break free from the cycle of procrastination. Intrigued, Professor Chen asked if he could observe the villagers as they practiced their daily meditation. Master Li graciously agreed, and together they ventured into the heart of the village. As they walked through the village, Professor Chen noticed that each person had found their own unique space for meditation. Some sat by the river, others under the shade of a tree, and a few even perched on mountain ledges. The diversity of settings intrigued Professor Chen, and he wondered if it played a role in the effectiveness of the practice. Master Li explained that the choice of location was a personal one, as each individual resonated with different natural elements. Some found solace in the sound of flowing water, while others drew inspiration from the sight of towering mountains. The key, Master Li emphasized, was to find a place that evoked a sense of calm and connectedness with nature. As they observed the villagers meditating, Professor Chen noticed a profound stillness and focus in their demeanor. It was as if time stood still, and all that mattered was the present moment. He could sense the peace and clarity radiating from each individual, and he marveled at the transformation that had taken place. After witnessing the power of the five-minute practice firsthand, Professor Chen knew he had stumbled upon something extraordinary. He spent several weeks in the village interviewing the villagers and delving deeper into their experiences with mindfulness. Through his research, Professor Chen discovered that the five-minute practice had far-reaching effects beyond overcoming procrastination. The villagers reported improved mental well-being, increased creativity, enhanced relationships, and a deeper connection with themselves and the world around them. Eager to share his findings with the world, Professor Chen returned to his academic institution and began conducting rigorous scientific studies on the effects of mindfulness. His research confirmed what Master Li had known all along, that dedicating just five minutes a day to mindful practice could have profound and lasting effects on one's life. Professor Chen published his findings in prestigious scientific journals, sparking a global interest in mindfulness and its potential to transform lives. The five-minute practice became a widely adopted technique, embraced by individuals, schools, workplaces, and even governments. In the years that followed, countless individuals broke free from the chains of procrastination 
thanks to the power of the five-minute practice. People from all walks of life experienced a newfound sense of purpose, focus, and productivity. Relationships flourished, creativity soared, and well-being improved as individuals learned to be fully present in each moment. Master Lee's teachings echoed through the mountains, reminding all who heard them that by dedicating just five minutes a day to mindful practice, one could transform their lives in unimaginable ways. The village became a beacon of hope and inspiration, attracting seekers from all corners of the world who longed to break free from the grip of procrastination. And so, the legacy of Master Lee and the transformative power of the five-minute practice lived on for generations to come. The village nestled deep in the mountains became a sanctuary for those seeking inner peace and clarity, a place where the wisdom of presence flourished. As the sun set over the village, casting a golden glow on the surrounding mountains, the villagers gathered together to meditate. They closed their eyes, took deep breaths, and focused their attention on the sensation of their breath entering and leaving their bodies. In those precious five minutes, they found solace, clarity, and a deep connection with themselves and the world around them. And as they opened their eyes, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, they carried with them the transformative power of presence, forever liberated from the clutches of procrastination.